All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka That Variety Nerd, and today we are back with this week's edition of NXT and our reactions to th this week's episode. And before we go anywhere else, uh, I do want to address the uh, elephant in the room, uh, namely my uh, <laughs> my graduation cap. So uh, pretty much what happened was that I graduated with my master's degree last year. But of course, because of the global panini, we weren't able to have even a vir we didn't even have a virtual university wide graduation like my college did, but not like the university itself. Uh, so this year they're doing in person slash virtual component graduations and stuff like that. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot be there physically in person to go. So I got my cap and gown, of course, like a couple months ago. I think it was like around March, I want to say. It was like early. And then, of course, like, you know, this month I'm like, oh, I can't actually go. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get the most use out of my cap and gown. So there is that. And it's something worth celebrating because, you know, one year later celebration is better than none. Am I right? Right. So you'll be seeing this cap on also for NXT UK reactions. And on that note, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite part of this week's NXT was down in the comments down below, and make sure to hit the subscribe button along with making sure that your notifications are indeed turned on, so that way you know when we upload videos around here. So, let's just dive right into the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> what is Gargano doing with Austin? He's like, just like trying to push him into the ring, and Theory's not having any of it. Oh no, this is not going to end well. This, this can't end well, not at all. Cross is freaking terrifying, dude. I'm, I'm not even joking, this man's terrifying. Like, he just totally shrugged off a dropkick. Oh my god, is Austin Theory okay? <laughs> He's just getting right up after everything, oh my god. Wait, I think Theory's out. Yep, Theory's out, holy crap. Oh my god, Finn just like came out of nowhere, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Hey, you know what? You gotta give credit where credit is due. At least Cross is open for any challenge. Ooh, this on paper is gonna be pretty stacked. I'm excited. Yeah, it was kind of wild. So speaking of MSK, their entrance theme is on like Spotify and YouTube. But literally last week, WWE Music on YouTube, they literally released like six or seven entrance themes of just all sorts of folks. And I'm just like, what happened? <laughs> like... Did somebody just crack in there and said, screw it, I'm just going to upload all these entrance themes, but whoever you are, we appreciate you quite a bit. Well, if you're trying to get them out of a hole, why are you having them against the champions right away? Wouldn't you want them to try to win over another tag team, possibly, first, to kind of climb up the ladder? I don't know. What was that with the referee? Hang on, we, what, please, give us this little bit again. <laughs> the referee! Oh my god! You know what we gotta give that referee just for that? A 10 out of 10 over here. I'm assuming, like, as a referee, like, you're also very much like the talent trying to keep yourself safe in a match. And I feel like that's important to be cognizant about, because the referee needs to check in on the talent to make sure that they're okay and stuff like that. And, you know, you've got to make sure that you're protecting yourself as well. So I could see where this referee is, you know, where the logic is in this. Oh my god, that was a very interesting pinfall breakup right there. Look at Fandango just like tackling him right to the mat. Look, I just want Breezango to actually win a match at some point. That would be swell. And Breezango lost, but MSK won. And I'm not even mad because this match was fun. This was a fun match to watch and I enjoyed it and that's what matters. Look, I just want Pete to win some kind of a title over here in NXT, that is all. <laughs> what? Sir, didn't you lose against Swerve last week? Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, I just heard that. I will say this, it's nice to see Pete and Oni Lorcan just still kind of just being there for each other. Oh my god. I think we got another referee stoppage? Have we had two referee stoppages in one NXT before? I'm actually all for it. I want Cross versus Dunn at some point. Okay, what's going on here? We're talking about a world premiere with Frankie Monet live on NXT in two weeks. Oh, she's having her match? Like her very first match? Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, time out. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're getting Karrion Cross versus Finn Balor in two weeks for the NXT Championship. We're getting the North American Championship defended next week. Okay, this match on paper is going to be great. Oh man, it's already hard hitting out of the gate, just like we expected it to be. <laughs> Dakota just jumped over the barricade like, I'm out of here, bye. Don't want to deal with you. Look, I'm just glad that Mercedes Martinez is actually getting a proper singles match for the title, because the last time that she had a championship opportunity was that triple threat match when Io was still champion, and she got, I think she ate the pin, I could be wrong, but yeah, that happened. So it's nice to see her get a fair shake in a one-on-one -on -one match. This has just been a hard-hitting match. I don't know how else to word it other than that. It's been hard-hitting and just a great match. Mercedes Martinez is bringing it in this matchup, and I, you love to see it. You truly do. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, the air. Oh, my God. Hang on. Oh, the knee. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is her first championship defense. Oh, that's it. Okay, but I really like this whole new vibe that we've got going on here. I'm, I'm interested to see where this goes. Okay, but I'm really digging this. I like how they've at least, you know, connected why all four of these folks are together. And it's like, okay, this makes sense. They have a similar mindset. And you know what? That's sometimes all you, that, uh, that's sometimes all that you need. <laughs> but like, it seems like they just pair people together in factions and teams and there's no rhyme or reason behind it. At least, you know, the similar mindset thing I can get behind because it just shows a little bit of team unity right off the bat and we appreciate that. Wait, eight bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a lake for- Which lake are we talking about? Okay, well that's definitely not Lake Erie. <laughs> oh my god, Cameron Grimes. Seriously, I never understood why auctioneers always talk so fast. But that house doesn't even look like it could have freaking eight houses. Like, what is this, The Sims? That's what I'm saying. Who spends 20 million on a house? Like, unless if you have an entire island. But alas, it's the million dollar man. <laughs> these, these segments are so entertaining. Every single week. I'm interested to see where all of this is going to go. Uh, I'm interested in where Kyle's next direction is going to go. I feel like Cole and O'Reilly are not 100% done with their business based on that sit-down interview not too long ago at NXT with Adam Cole. So, I I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Oh man, this, this has to be it. Oh, okay, I was like, hang on here, this might not be it after all. <laughs> This match has also been pretty hard-hitting as well, for the most part. A little bit more on the technical side than hard-hitting, but still fairly hard-hitting. We, we do appreciate cool Kyle in this household, though. We really do. So, who's gonna come out and uh, help Kyle out in this two-on-one situation? Oh, there's Bobby Fish! We were trying to figure out what happened to him or when he was coming back! Oh, this is nice. Look, I was thinking this whole entire Undisputed Era breakup situation, like, what what's... Bobby Fish gotta think about this whole thing. Okay, but we can appreciate this little mini reunion with Kyle and Bobby. I love this. Wait, that means eventually Bobby Fish has gotta get new music too, right? <laughs> Y'all, you know what I thought of like earlier, like on my walk just to go pick up a few groceries after work or whatever? I'll, like, I was kind of thinking about like, you know, NXT and everything like that because, you know, reaction video tonight and all that, but like... What if we had Legato del Fantasma, like, in a bit of a dream match, almost, with, like, Roman and the Usos? Like, that would be a very new feud, potentially. Like, they don't necessarily have to be on the same roster, but I think it could be very nice and new -gitty. Have it be, like, a Survivor Series thing. I'd be down for that. Oh, there comes MSK taking out Legato del Fantasma. See, like, this is one of these situations where I'm kind of glad that these, like feuds kind of overlap, like if it helps everybody out, you know what I mean? Like, you know, mutual enemies. What is Kushida doing? Oh my god. What a start. Oh my god. And we're just getting started in this main event. Oh my god. How is, how is Kushida gonna get out of this? Yeah, well, how is Kushida gonna counter? Like, I mean, he has that one free arm and everything, but you make one wrong move and it doesn't look like you would land well or anything. It does make you wonder, like, are we gonna actually get a pinfall at any point before the time limit, possibly? Like, as in TV time? Oh, okay, well that, yep, okay. Escobar got the first fall. And 
another edition of Christina Jinx's Everything. <laughs> oh! Kushida! Right into an arm bar, right into the arm bar! Oh man, he can't go anywhere. Oh my god, Kushida just got the second fall. Okay, well that explains how we got two quick falls just like that. I don't know how this matchup is gonna end. I really don't. Like, I'm I'm both excited and nervous about how this is gonna end. I'm not even joking. I'm nervous for both of them because they're both just throwing everything at each other. Can we have like a best of seven series with these two just because it's been that good? That would that would be swell. I truly will not be mad at whoever wins this match because it's been that good of a match. Like, these two just deliver on all cylinders. And I hope that these two just keep fighting forever, essentially. <laughs> I, I'm with the crowd. This match is awesome. And I want I, I want a best of seven series. I don't care. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This cannot possibly end well. Like, they've been through everything and then some in this match alone. Oh my god, how did Escobar get to the bottom rope? That's what I'd like to know. How did that dude do it? I mean, to be fair, he was Cruiserweight Champion for, like they mentioned, 313 days. So, I mean, it's not a huge stretch, but just given how the move was executed and everything, just how was that even possible? Okay, well, I didn't expect the match to end just like that with that suplex right there, but I ain't even mad. And again, I need a best of seven series with these two, but I wonder what's next for Santos Escobar and then, of course, Legato del Fantasma because, of course, you know, they've got their eyes set on the tag team titles. And I wonder who Kushida's next challenger is going to be, too, on top of that. All right, so overall thoughts on this week's NXT. Overall, it was a very quick watch. We had a lot of developments turn out. It was nice to see uh, Bobby Fish return. The title match, all the matches were just stacked from top to bottom for the most part. Like, obviously, of course, you know, the main event was incredible along with the women's championship matches. Like, we knew that those were going to deliver, but everything was at least good. You know what I mean? Like, there wasn't a bad match on the show. Uh, we had some developments, you know, heading into next week and then two weeks from now, of course. And there was also that announcement that we were going to get in your house again on June 13th. So, that being said... I enjoyed NXT this week. It was a quick watch for me. Uh, if I had to pick one match to go out of your way to watch, I would definitely recommend the main event between Kushida and Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship. And that's pretty much all I got. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in and for all the love and support for the channel. Along with these reaction videos, I enjoy doing them. And I hope you all are enjoying them as well. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you all around later. Bye everyone.